Hey, this is John Turner, co-founder of Seedprod, and I want to show you how I'm going to rebuild the current Seedprod website with our new theme builder feature in the Seedprod plugin. So this is, I've installed the latest version of Seedprod, and I have installed a starter theme here, right here. And this will add all the parts we need to build our website. So what we're going to do is we're going to go through each one of these and explain what they're doing. And we're going to change this, which is the starter theme, into this, which is the new Seedprod website. All right, so this should be fun. Let's get started. So the first thing you want to do is you want to edit the global CSS. The global CSS will apply styles throughout the theme. We have lots of sensible defaults, and I've only changed a few things to match our brand. I've changed the colors, which you can see here. I've added a custom color. I've changed our font to Open Sans. I've left the background white and I've changed our button color. I've left the forms, the default styling, and I've entered a layout of 1100. So this is be the default width of our theme. And that's it, we'll save this and this will be, now be applied globally. The next thing I'm gonna do is alter the header to match our site design. So this is the default header that comes with the starter theme. We're gonna alter this to look like this header. So let's get started. First thing I'm going to do is put out our layout navigator and I'm going to delete this and start from scratch. And I'm going to speed up the video a little bit just to save some time, but once I'm finished, I'll explain exactly what I did. Okay, so what I just did is I added a new section which contains a row and that has three columns and it has an image, an ad menu, and a button. And I sped up the part where I was tweaking all the styles here. So let me save this and let's view the live website. So yeah, this is our new header here and you can see it matches our current header on the Seedprod website. So let's move on to the footer. The footer is just like the header. So it will display on every page of your website. So if we take a look at the current website, Seedprod website, we see this is the footer. We go back here and edit design. I have already built the footer with Seedprod and as you can see, it's mostly composed of, of nav menus and text and images. And a cool thing about Seedprod as well is it's instantly mobile friendly. So if we click here, we can see it automatically breaks down for mobile menus. So now that we have the footer and header built, let's go on to the home page. Okay, so as you can see, this is the starter template and the contents of the starter template. But it's pulling in our footer and our header that we've built. So now all we need to do is change this content here with our standard and advanced blocks to match what we have on the current Seedprod website. So let me do this and we'll come back in a second and I'll explain some of the blocks that we've used. Okay, so here it is. We've rebuilt the current Seedprod website, our front page, which is here, with the Seedprod builder, which is here. And if you look over here on the right, you can see we've mostly used images and text. We have used a few special blocks, such as the testimonial blocks, accordion blocks, and a custom post block to pull in dynamic data. So with Seedprod blocks, you can build pretty much any type of web page you want. Okay, so now let's explore the single page, single post, the blog, and the sidebar. These are kind of unique because these use template tag blocks to pull in dynamic data from WordPress. So for example, a page will pull in page data that you create under the pages menu and post will create blog posts that you create under post. So let's go into these and take a look what they're doing. Okay, so I've opened up the single page template part and if we click here, you can see this is using a post title block and a post content block. If we look over here, these are template tab blocks. So you can use these blocks to pull in dynamic data from WordPress. So as an example, this is our privacy policy page. And then when we view it on our website, you can see it's pulling in the data from the post. If we want to create pages with Seedprod, we can click this button instead of using Gutenberg blocks. Let's take a look at posts. They work sort of the same way. With the starter theme, the blog just works, as you can see here. The only thing we need to do is style it to match our current styles. But let's take a look at how this actually works. I have the blog archive and the post page open up. And just like the single page, we're using template tags to pull in data from WordPress. All we need to do now is style it. But one unique thing we have on this page is a global template part. This part is shared across several template parts throughout our theme. 
And when we update this part, it will update across the site. So we have tons of flexibility as far as building themes and displaying our content. That's it. We've styled our blog and have finished recreating our handmade theme using no code with Seedprod. And instead of taking three to four weeks, it took just a few hours. Check out Seedprod today and see just how easy and fast it is for you.